Hey guys, we are back with some more Fire Emblem, and before I move on, I'm going to have Vanessa come on over here, and I'm going to bring Joshua over here, item, oh, oh, no, Trey with Gilliam, you kidding me, hold on, hold on, I know what to do, yeah, with Erica, you can actually supply right from the, uh, the convoy, which I guess is what it is, uh, hold on, and darn it, Armor Slayer. Now I'm gonna trade with Joshua. There we go. Now I'm gonna move Joshua up here. Item. Use that, and we are pretty damn good to go. Now I think I'm gonna start moving these guys around the outside, just because I kind of can, and. Gilliam, you can come on. Actually, you can just go up one. I don't trust you with all these axes around. Now, Joshua is a Myrmidon. And, ooh, critical hit. He gets crits a lot with that killing edge. There, okay. There's an, a really big upside and a really big downside to the uh, killing edge. And when it's my turn again, I will tell you that in just a sec. Thank God he couldn't hit 15 on Gilliam, because let me tell you what, that would just be impossible. <clears throat> please don't tell me you can hit twice. Please don't tell me you can hit twice. You usually can't, but please don't. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cole's getting the level ups, because he was leading this whole, like, pack before. Yeah, no Zicky. Okay, hold on. Before I go over to Joshua, I just want to... Come on, Pandex. Yeah, that's good. That'll hit. 18 damage for Ross is immense for right now. So, I'd highly suggest using that. And we can bring the enemy over here. Wait. And she can come over here. And now, with the killing edge... Oh, thank God I hit the right button. Proves a hit critical hit rate. Now, as you can see... No. There are... It has 20 uses, which... You know, it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you think about it, you can get, well, you're not going to get, but you could get 20 critical hits, which is essentially 20 kills with that, instead of the average 10. You know, no, we'll, we'll say like 14 kills with it, because of all the critical hits you get. You have the possibility of getting like 20 kills, instead of just like, you know, hitting them twice and wasting the durability, which is good, but... To get 20 durability. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do something very risky. Hold on. Okay, the arena is clear. Now, Joshua was saying that he was having a pretty crappy day with, like, luck and whatnot. But we're just going to test it and see how uh, bad it actually is. We're going to bring him to the arena. Just see. Welcome to the arena. Yes. Oh, we might have this. Oh, yeah, I think we do. Now, if you want to quit this, you need to press B. Oh, yeah, we got that. Look at that! And we just won some money for ourselves. Now, actually, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this off-screen enough so I get some, like, good money. Look at that. We pretty much just doubled that. So that's very good, and I would highly suggest... You do that as well, because it's a quick way to get money, but you need to be careful. I can't stress that enough. You need to be careful. Now, this, this guy gives us a secret book, which raises skill, I believe. Yep, we raise the skill. We're going to send that to storage. And now we'll just wait. Actually, we don't even need them to go around this side. So I'm actually going to bring them back around here. I don't know what I was thinking. Now, you can bring any unit you want, except healers, I believe, into the arena. And I don't know why you'd bring a healer into the arena anyway. Just stupid. So, this set. Um, with that, guys, I will be cutting away to me getting some serious money with this arena. So, I will be back in just a second.
Oh shit, yeah guys, I accidentally uh, moved Vanessa to attack this, um, mercenary, so I'm really sorry about that. Kind of forgot what I was doing, but, uh, since I'm right here, I'm gonna have Gilliam attack this guy, just so no one else comes out. Oh man, more bandits. Alright, hold on, you know what, you know what, I'm gonna clear the map except for the boss, and then I'll go back to the arena. So, let me just move these guys, even though they're not gonna make it up here in time. Cole might, but no one else will. Yeah, Combs got six spaces that he can move, which is pretty awesome. And now, I shouldn't have done that because. Eric, okay, Erica's good on HP. Wait, and let's just move on. Of course, I would have my sword equipped. But at least we hit twice, so that's no big deal. As long as they don't hit twice. Which enemies usually don't hit twice unless they have. Not a certain weapon, but later on in the game they will hit twice, and bosses usually do hit twice. Unless they're really weak and pathetic. Kind of like this one. There we go. Vanessa's doing some damage. Now I'm going to move Comb back up. Hooey. No, no, don't. Actually, yeah, trade. Bronze. I'll give you that two vulnerary for a three, and we, now we can use that right after. Which is good, because once you trade, you cannot attack again. Which is kind of annoying, but it makes sense when you think about it. Right, now I'm coming over here. Attack you with a javelin. Okay, there's three guys that we should be able to take out. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Erica, come on, do your stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna use a rapier. And crit, there we go. Thank you for working. Critical hits. Now, um, I think I'm gonna bring Gilliam. Can he do much more with the iron? Oh yeah, he can probably kill him. There we go. Very nice. <laughs> And Gilliam levels up some more. Um, these level ups for Gilliam don't really matter too much because I don't really use him like after this chapter. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to Volmerary. No, I didn't want to supply. I'm gonna wait. And now I'm gonna bring these guys up. Okay, I didn't think I hit wait, but I guess I did. And Ross has, like, the crappiest move I've ever seen. So we're going to mend Joshua. Get him ready for the next arena. Oh, yeah, and Joshua still doesn't move. But it's all good, because now he's going to attack Franz. And we should finish this guy up. I'm just going to speed it, just because I don't want this episode to go on too long. There we go. And now I'm going to visit the house. Oh, yeah, there's also an armory up here, too. So this is the only place with a shop in an armory as of yet. Hope everyone's well back home in Silva. Just a bit more and I'll be in the Empire. Let's see, I've got vulneraries and toxins. Oh, and I can't let myself forget torches for when it gets dark. Yep, I'm all set. Now I just need to get to the capital. I'll be the finest soldier in the, the Grotto Army's ever seen. I swear it. Hmm, what's this? She forgot her torch. Dumbass. Now, guys, I'm going to be cutting away until I make a decent chunk of money. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, well, Joshua got a bunch of levels, and Natasha got a level, and almost another one, and she actually went up in her staff level, which is really good, and Joshua went up as well, so now he's a B rank, and let's kill this boss. I've been stalling long enough. Uh, excuse me, it is time. Okay, I'm going to have Franz wait. Can you do anything, Vanessa? Attack, javelin, slim lance. No, slim lance can't do anything. I'll have you wait as well. Ardor can come up and wait. Is I want to get Ross in on this. That's pretty much it. Of course he goes for Vanessa. Enemy the 
Enemy of the Empire, death's too good for you. Oh, he missed. Cool. Can we hit twice? Yes, we can. Very awesome, guys. I doubt Niemi can do anything at all, actually. Yeah, I thought so. Hatchet is eight. Um, I'm just gonna wait here, and I'm going to attack. No, I'm not. Uh, with Franz, I'm going to attack because, yeah, he can't kill us even on the next turn if he hits now and then. So everything's all good. Unless he has like a steel lance that he's gonna whip out, but I don't think he does. Level five Cavalier, very cool. Um. Our units are going up rather fast. Um, I'm actually going to move Joshua. And I'll have Natasha follow him. And let's just heal him just to get that level up. There we go. A level 3 cleric. Now, clerics are really hard to level up because the staffs just don't give enough experience. And it's like, you know, why? Why do you have to be so damn complicated? And he did hit twice, which is luckily that he wouldn't kill because Franz would be dead if I had pressed my luck. Now it's time for Franz to get the hell out of there. And we can heal him. Let's, let's heal him with the men because he's pretty damn low. Awesome. Now he's full. And let's see if Ross can iron axe. Da, na, 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 na. Well, that does eight, and that's pretty much what a hatchet does. I do want to save the hatchet, so I think I'm going to just wait for right now. No, we'll just wait right there. Niami still can't do anything. And Arter can pretty much kill him, but that would just be too easy, so. Actually, gonna wait and see what he does. Why did I have that? Why did I have that javelin equipped? Oh wait, it's because I checked to see how much damage it would do. Crap! And a level six Pegasus Knight. She's getting pretty close to what I wanted to have her. What I want to have her at. Is very nice. Actually, gonna bring in good old Ross and attack with that hatchet because he's gonna kill. There we go. Emperor of Vigard, glory to his majesty. And Ross levels up. And now he is level 7. Just three more levels until he classes up. That was a tight spot. Yes, yes it was. Thank you so much. I don't know how to repay. You're from Grotto, aren't you? Yes, my name is Natasha. I was a servant of the people at Grotto's Imperial Temple. Then why the trouble... Then why the trouble with the soldiers? Would you tell us your story? Of course. A few days past, my mentor was arrested without warning. They executed him. They said he was a traitor. But those were false accusations. The Emperor had him killed. A holy man. To keep him silent. Keep him silent. Yes, my mentor told me with his final breath. The Emperor plans to destroy the sacred stones. Sacred stones? Destroy them? As you must know, the sacred stones drove back the power of evil long ago. Even now, each of our nations is home to one of the legendary treasures. There's one in my homeland, Grotto, and there's one in, you know, Rene. Yes, the sacred stones of Rene is still housed in our royal temple. The emperor plans to destroy the five stones one by one. Why would he do such a thing? Legend says the sacred stones are, are even now all that keeps evil at bay. I cannot begin to guess his motives. You must know our emperor was a gentleman, but one day he changed. Utterly. Before my mentor died, he said the keepers of the sacred stones must be warned. I tried to slip across the border, but the soldiers spotted me. Is that what happened? What do you think, Seth? I think we can trust no one from Grotto, not in these times, not without proof. However, if what she says is true, we cannot ignore the danger we face. Destroying the sacred stones, we cannot allow that to happen. I agree. If only we knew that there was some reason for the Emperor's actions. I must tell you, her story chills me to the bone. I pray it is false. 
A moment, please. Are you, perchance, Princess Erica? I am. Like, she just says that to, like, a random guy. Like, yeah, I could be a grotto spy, but yeah, Princess Erica, you can come take me if you want. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. I can't tell you how happy I am. I am, and please accept my gratitude for driving off that Captain Saw. That Saw treated all the citizens of Renee with such contempt and brutality. Not here, not in this city. My brother and I spent this such happy times here with Lion. I beg your pardon, but it is not long before Grotto sends more troops. Please, you must go quickly. I'm so sorry. There's nothing I can do for you now. Please forgive me. Do not be troubled, Princess Erica. We will survive and wait for the day of liberation to come. There will come a day when you, Prince Ephraim, and all of Renee rise up. Until that day of glory comes, we will wait unbowed and filled with hope. We get a guiding ring. Um, I guess I should mention this now. Guiding rings? Oh, uh, no, 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 no! Okay, I guess we're going to see the beginning of this chapter. Uh, I didn't think that this would happen, but it will. Actually, you know what? I'm going to save a state, and I'm calling that a video, guys. So I will see you...